What's good, everyone? Smiling Grove here playing Assetto Corsa Competizione. This is my first time I'm playing this game, and I cannot wait to share it with you all. I have been waiting for this game. I'm so excited. Here comes the trailer. I'm going to let you watch it. It's awesome. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed that trailer as much as I did because this game looks fantastic. I've been waiting for this game for a while. It used to be only on computer or PC and now it is available on console. I have it for PS4. If you guys wanna purchase it, it will be down in the link below. But here we go, opening screen, Seto Corsa Competizione, Championship, Career, Special Events, Multiplayer, Single Player. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna jump right into single player because I just wanna race. So here we go, this is the um, single player screen. We have a quick race, we have the circuit and the vehicle. What a beautiful Lamborghini we have in front of us. Absolutely stunning, but I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit different, maybe something a little bit more German. There's all your racing teams, Aston Martin, Audi, Bentley, BMW, Ferrari, etc. I'm going with BMW. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find Josh Edwards and we're gonna race. Look at that beautiful BMW. GT3 cars are gorgeous. Well, they're race cars, but who doesn't love race cars? All right, this is it. We're gonna go and drive on the Nürburgring in the BMW car for the first time ever on a Seto Corsa Competizione. I hope you guys are excited. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else you want to see and subscribe to the channel. This is what we do here. We race. So here we go. All right. So it looks like it's early morning. We're going to have an early morning race. Wow. So far, I can tell you, the game is beautiful. Graphics are absolutely stunning. The sound is excellent. And here we go. We're starting off our first ever race in the Seto Corsa Competizione in the BMW GT3 car. Wow. All right, so driving the BMW around the first corner, we're getting ready to start the race. And I love all the gauges. I love that it puts you in cockpit right away. You don't have to mess around. And we're off, here we go. Starting our first ever race, the Nurburg circuit at six in the morning. This is the first time I've ever played this game, so let's see how it goes. All right, a little bit early in the braking zone, but not horrible. First thing I can tell you is this game feels really good. Although I think it feels a little bit more forgiving on the left. than on the left. its predecessor, a set of Corsa, but. I can't be certain with that because honestly, I haven't played a set of course in a long time. But so far, this game feels really good and I am really enjoying it so far. All right, so when I say feel of the game, what I'm talking about is 
the force feedback settings and the physics of the game overall. It's really good. I mean, I can feel the tires, I can feel the car leaning, coming into the corners, I can feel the braking. You can feel everything. It, it all comes through to you as the driver, as the player, and it's a wonderful experience. And going on with just the way the game looks, the looks are incredible. I mean, the track looks amazing. Kunos did an amazing job. Oh, wow. Completely missed my braking zone there. Slid off track. But I, I felt that. That came through the wheel. I knew that was going to happen when it happened. And I was able to somewhat catch it a little bit. I mean, I didn't do a great job catching it overall, but we did go off track. And that, that right there, curbs, the curbs feel amazing. You can feel each tire going over the curb. It's just a wonderful feeling. But the game is spot on. Like I said, it's the first time I'm playing the game, uh, first time around the track. I didn't do any warm up laps or anything, so that's why my times are not going to be great. And like that, I missed the braking zone. But as you can tell, um, oh, all right. So now we're going to have some competition. An Audi R8 got past us. So now let's see how actual racing is. Because before I was just race leader and I was the pace, basically. All right. So the cars are set, uh, the general setup is 80% AI, which is apparently the lowest. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to increase that if I wanna have any real competition because it's, it's too low. Now, the one thing I did learn prior to... Ooh, are we going to pass? No, we're, we're not close enough. The one thing I did learn prior to uh, me purchasing this game and, and playing it for myself was that the cars can be quite aggressive. Now, it's listed at 50% aggressiveness, and I haven't noticed any issues with it, but like I said, before I was pace car, essentially, and... Um, so I didn't have much to worry about and right now there's no one that close to me so I really don't have anything to worry about so I'm gonna have to, to feel and play around with that uh, in future videos we'll definitely check out some different settings but all right straight line speed we are definitely gonna overtake this Audi right now Car on the left. beautiful Car on the left. all right I, I really like GT3 racing cuz it's just a really raw natural form of racing there's there's nothing we really got to play around with it's accelerator brake drive you know hit your braking zones apexes so on and so forth all right, we've just started the final lap of the all right here we go final we go. lap so i well, think that we will take first place it's an assumption i don't know you know anything can happen in racing but i'm pretty confident but i did like that little chase that we just had um, with the Audi because that was a lot of fun and I know at, at one point it might have looked like I was going to hit that car but I knew I had to get right up on him and then come on the outside and overtake so that's what I did and yeah I don't really know what else to say about this game other than if you're looking for a pretty raw racing game this would be a great pick it is a lot of fun. I would highly recommend that you have a wheel and pedal set because, I mean, I don't know. I haven't played it on a controller, but this game has a lot of feed back and a lot of feel. The physics are really good, and I can't imagine that transitioning to controller that well that it would be worth you know buying this game if you didn't have a wheel and pedal set however leave a comment below if you play this game with with a controller and, and let me know how you like it because i would definitely be interested in that and let me know if you want me to try this game with a controller 
I'm more than willing to uh, try that, but I do much prefer to play the games with the steering wheel. Um, there's there's a, a level of interaction there that you don't get with a controller that is far superior and uh, much more fun. So coming up to the, some of the final corners. Oh, that was upsetting a little bit, but uh, all right, we stayed on track. All right, final corner. Let's see. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. All right, kudos. Excellent. So, yeah, that's obviously not what you want to happen, but I'm kind of thrilled that it happened, that I was able to put a little bit too much power into the accelerator and slide off the curb and cause the car to be upset and oversteer. So that was awesome. Yes, this game is great. Purchase it, you'll love it. And please leave me a comment below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. And uh, I'll put up some more set of course of Competizione content because this is a really fun game. So as always guys, stay smiling.